all right what's up guys welcome to today's stream hopefully y'all is having a good and chill day if not i don't know what to tell you controller batteries looking good i'll be having to check that because i'm like bro i don't, don't want to be like halfway through a game and then my controller just go out so got to check that stuff I think I got, yeah. Gots to buy it. I forgot I'm not playing on, uh, playing on my Xbox. Cars that, ooh, Marrow. I'm trying to figure out why do I play this game so much. I don't think I'm going to play it the whole stream. I just wanted to play it for a little bit. Probably play up until I get like a trophy or something. And then, then uh, play something else. My fault. The Mustangs are kind of nice, though. How, like, that color looks. Or not color, but, uh, like, the design that they got. Too bad it ain't fast. Gotta pass you up. Not sorry, too. I'm sitting here thinking about it, and I'm like, bruh, PlayStation and Xbox. Like, there's all these different game companies that you guys could have, like, taken over, which they, they have. Like, they don't get me wrong. They got some good games. Why would you guys decide to sign a deal with EA and Ubisoft? Xbox got the EA Game Pass, or the Play thing. And then um, PlayStation got uh, uh, Ubisoft Plus. And I'm like, all these companies out here that you guys could have, like, really been making some money off of? Y'all gonna take the two companies where it's like they games would be on sale, like, after a month? I don't get that. All I'm saying is if, if there's ever a day where I come out with my own game service, I'm like, nah, bro. We sign it with a company that comes out with nothing but five-star games. No disrespect, but at the same time, I want my fans to, or like the people that's buying my game service to uh, get some good games. So. I'm in front of my car get all messed up. I'm gonna give me a messed up looking car. I feel like I didn't even. How do you? Cause I hit the cars, but like how the hood messed up like that. Like the bumper should be messed up if anything, but I just I. I guess I don't know how, but I guess. There's a friend of mine. She got a white Camaro, and I'm like, I feel I feel kind of bad, you know. Cause I'm like, dang, if, imagine if this was her car. I'm like, so yeah, um, about driving the car to your, uh, to your house tonight. Uh, yeah, it's, um, like, how, how can I put this in words without, like, making you upset? The, the car is at a safe spot. She'd be like, what you mean is at a safe spot? Where's my car? I'm like, you know, there's a movie called Dude, Where's My Car? She's like, why are you changing the subject? Just tell me where my car is at. Um... It's at the shop. It's like, yeah, I kind of forgot that the car had brakes, so. 
crashed into a couple of stuff. But it ain't like, it ain't like, ain't bad damage. Like, you know, it's just, it's just slight, slight. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more, but. But it's still fine, though. It's still drivable. There's some voice in the background. Yeah, bro, so the damage look like it's gonna probably be up to in the uh, thousands. Thinking probably like 2,000, 3,000 range. I forgot I gotta change the name in this game. It's like Driver 22. It sounds like a movie. I feel like I should have got more than that. Three laps and only six miles? Bruh. Dang, I really want to get that Mustang. Can I buy it? How much would it cost? I don't think I have enough. I can't buy the car? If I ain't got enough, then it's like, how would I? This will cost you 50% of your winnings. Loan vehicles will not earn drive distance towards unlock. Oh, well then never mind then. Let's just switch back to the Camaro. I ain't gonna have it where you guys take 50% of my earnings. I'm done doing deals with people. I'm doing this stream on uh, Father's Day. It'd been nice to like have it where it's like I had uh, some game where it's like me and my dad could have played it. Could have been a stream where it's like teaching them how to play a newer video game. Because I think the last time my dad, I think last time I saw him play a video game, it was like whatever Legend of Zelda game came out on the Nintendo Wii, that was the last time. So like, I think he definitely would like racing games. I wouldn't even want to put him in no situation of playing a sports game. Like, I would not want my dad to get caught up playing 2K, Madden, any any sports game. I care about my dad way too much to let him get sucked into one of those games where it's like, oh, the game looks fun, but it ain't all that fun. So, can't do that. Have him play a five-star and a five-star only game. At least something that's just not bad. That's something I'm just sitting down thinking of. I'm like, I just want to collect as many trophies and achievements that I can 
on uh bo on just all of all like anything that i could get an achievement um or a trophy on i'm like i, I want that like playstation i'm like i'm you know give me all the trophies i can get xbox all the achievements why is it playstation gotta be different though they call it trophies and everybody else calls theirs achievements steam got calls their achievements i think epic games i think they call theirs achievements xbox I'm trying to think who else ea um play their service playstation is like nah they all getting called achievements we call ours trophies I still remember too when I very first heard about that type of stuff like trophies because it was the same year I got Wi-Fi so I was like I think uh, I think I was playing Red Dead Redemption and they was like oh if um if you want to uh, get uh, achievements you can't use the cheat codes for the game and I was like dang man I really want to I really want to get me some achievements so I'm like no nah, I can't can't use cheat codes I think with some games, some games just require cheat codes. I'm like, for an example, San Andreas. I tried playing that game the other day without cheat codes, and it's like, it's not possible. My, oh, my teammate is second place. See? About time, bro. Dang, is that what it has to take for him to actually do better for him to for me to play on PlayStation? I'm like, dang, bro. I like that. See? He might be 40-some seconds behind, but, I mean, hey, you know, he, he's out here doing his thing. I like that. About time. Uh, you know, just dang. All right, so I, I, know, I know now what I need to do. Play on PlayStation. That's another reason why I like playing on consoles or I'm happy about playing on like streaming off of my console again is that I don't have to worry about like graphics and stuff. It's like I'll play PC games, but I just think that, you know, with some of those games, it's just they, they require too much. Be having to sit there and figure out like, oh, can I, you know, is this going to work? Is this game going to work? Is this game going? I'm like, bro, that's just, that's just doing too much. Electric vehicles sound so weird, bro. Because I, I like those electric Mustangs that they came out with. If they sound anything like this, man, I don't know. They need to have it where it's like they like there's some speakers outside the car where you can like make it sound like a gas-powered car. Because I'm saying I, that's just, I, I just, I don't know about this. I mean, it's quiet, and I, I, it could be, like, convenient if you live, like, in a quiet, like, neighborhood, and, you know, you, you ain't trying to wake up the neighbors, like, you leaving one night, and it's like, dang, man, okay, you just spin out, out of nowhere, you had, like, sir, what you got going on, but, yeah, I just, I don't know, man, it kind of defeats the purpose of a car being a car, I mean, I'll still drive it, but still, it's just, you know, it's not as expensive though, I tell you that much. Like it's at least like when it comes to like gas and stuff. I think I remember I read online they said it only costs like seven dollars to fully charge like a an electric car. I'm like, bro, that's that's a deal. That is a deal. That's why I'm like, nah, when I get my first car, I'm like, I am definitely getting me an electric car.
forget forget gas. I wonder how much it takes, how long it takes to charge up the car though. That's something where I'm like, I'm kind of concerned by. Like if I go to a, like one of those like gas stations and I'm going to charge my car up and I'm like, I'm not trying to say all like, oh, it takes like seven hours to fully charge the car. I'm like, well, that's why it's so cheap because I'm going to be sitting there the whole day be going into work, but my car is on low battery. Talk about, oh yeah, I guess, guess I'm going to have to call out today, guys. I'm like, I'm going to be sitting here full of days of work and just sitting down charging up a car. So I'm hoping it's like, like, it, it's just, it's something where I, I, you know, that's honestly, I think that's something that I would definitely invest in. So anybody out there thinking about getting an electric car, get one of those things where you can uh, put it in the garage. And it's like mounted onto the wall, I think. And then it just, um, you could just charge your car from that. Because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to sit there for those several hours trying to charge up a car and no gas station. Speaking of electric cars, like by the time when this video comes out, it's gonna probably be long after that video that went viral, gonna probably just be buried within the internet and stuff. If not, who knows? It might be more videos or people's dumb saying dumb stuff like that, but. There's a video of this woman. She's yelling at this guy talking about his electric car that ain't got no gas in it is polluting the air. And I'm like, ma'am, how? how? How is an electric car with electricity running through it polluting the air? Please explain that to me because if that's the case, then bruh, like when it starts thundering and lightning outside, yeah, look, look up to the sky talking about you're polluting the air and... See, once you end up in the same place that they filmed one flow of the cuckoo's nest, it's like, man, like, please, please get an education. That's why I'm just not cut out. Like, I, I think it's best for me to watch videos on situations like that rather for me to actually be in a situation like that. Because if somebody walked up on me and I'm in an electric car and they talking about I'm polluting the air, I'm like, fam, I'm gonna send you to this school. All right, I want you to walk to this classroom. I want you to look that teacher in the face and tell them, tell me everything that I need to know. I'm like, I'll call ahead of time and explain it to them that, you know, you kind of, kind of got something going on with you. But it's like, just, just please get an education. I feel like it's taking a while for me to get a trophy in this game. I'm find something else to play. Something that I haven't played yet. I should play on um, Bioshock. Uh, let's see what I can play. All these games downloaded and then just don't be knowing what to play. See if this hot shots golf is all about. Oh, I misspelled golf. Do they not have uh just the the first one? Huh, that's weird. They don't even have like the first one on uh Steam. Well, I guess Guess I won't be playing or doing uh, streaming that. Guess I'll probably just end up making a video or something. Let's play this. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This game was actually uh, pretty fun. I did like this. Bruh, this game's crazy. Hold on. Or not game, but... Okay, I was about to say, I was like, yeah, yo, um, Streamlabs is being weird. Talking about that game don't exist. And I'm like, I've, I have, put, this game's been out for years. How does it not exist? How do you guys not have it? I can understand Kick maybe not having it. Because there's a lot of games I don't think they haven't added to their website just yet. But Twitch. Attention all proud warriors. Y'all gotta have, have that. Ever or Streamlabs. Time As a time patroller, you'll prevent history from being changed. 
Our duty is to protect everyone's memories and help return history to the way it should be. But we need your help. The only requirements are confidence in your capabilities and, of course, a strong desire to protect history. I ain't got no strong desire for all that. You've got a so. school for honing your skills and a fully equipped item shop. How about it? Why not use your strength to help out a great cause? That workout is hard. Like, for him to just be going back and forth You're like that, like, sir. Look out for powerful warriors. Okay, then. Listen carefully. To maintain safety here, in Kanzan City, home to the Time Patrol, there are a few rules you must keep. First, firing a Kamehameha within city limits is prohibited. Time patrollers wishing to fly when not on duty are required to obtain a flying license. Please help keep Canton City safe by obeying its traffic laws. Lastly, any alteration of history is a grave offense. Our missions come with the risk of changing history. <laughs> You would so thought they had been making a bunch of these caution. games, but it's like... Avoid making changes it seems like it's been a minute trusted. since I last heard them making a Dragon Ball Keeping game. These things in mind, please and I think if they were to come out with another one of these, I think it would be sick. For the sick. sake of the world and its history, we, we look, look forward, forward to welcoming, welcoming each of you to the Time Patrol. Patrol. I'm not reading all that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm reading it, but not reading it. Like, what? Did they, why did they think somebody was gonna sit down and try to read all that stuff? It's like I'm, I'm here to play a video game, my guy. Like, I'm not here to. Okay. Once you carry over here, you get there so much. Yeah. Okay, if there ain't nothing there, then it's like... No. I just want to play the game! Bro, they're going to be doing all that extra stuff that I'm like, I'm not going to play it. I'm like, I ain't have to go through all that when I played it any other time, so that's going to just go ahead and get right on delete it. I ain't got time for all that. Between going back and forth, going in circles and stuff. I ain't, no, no. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll play this. THQ is a company where I was like, you know, they came out with good games and it surprised me that they went out of business before any other company went out of business. That's what confuses me so much about them is that you guys were coming out with top tier games. Top tier games. Welcome to Baja. I'm like, bruh, how do y'all, like, how does that even happen? How is it that I'm, but, hey, you know what? I do think, I do think that it's going to get to a point where we start seeing that a little bit more often with some companies, because I'm telling you right now, there's some companies where I'm like, bruh, how are y'all still in business? Like, explain that one to the whole white world. Like, how, how is it that y'all are still in business? And THQ, they, I mean, they're, they're back in business, but... Oh, we, we're gonna have to... Yeah, put that on the... Put that on the low.
Why they got the camera like that? It's like, yeah, I can't look at stuff sideways. It's like, oh, half of my head hurt. Like, excuse me, pardon me, thank you. They got a full blown roller coaster. Where are we? They said, I think it was like, they said like Nevada or something. I'm like, bruh, I like. But yeah, THQ, I was like, bro, I remember when they um, had came out and they said that they were like going out of business. Sold the UFC rights over to um, EA. Bad move. Because they're undisputed games. I thought the UFC undisputed games were good. I thought the WWE games were good. All the stuff that they came out with was always good. So like, I, I just, I never understood it. And then it's like, you got all these like other companies that were still going strong. And it's like, fam, how? And then you see like the like how they declined in quality. Now, now THQ is working on the AEW game and that's getting ready to release soon. And I'm like, yeah, it's like, it, I, I think that AEW game is going to be good though. Seeing where people are laughing, like not so much as how it visually looks, but more so just on like all the funny things you can do in there, riding a skateboard up and down the aisle, freaking throwing, who is it? I think dynamite at people. Yeah, AEW, um, their game's gonna be pretty solid. Here we go. Ah, just knew some somewhere, some way, somehow, I was gonna get me an achievement. Oh, I got a couple of achievements or trophies. Trophies, my my fault. How many do I have now? Oh, they don't say. Huh? Oh well. I wonder if they got like a. Oh no, they don't. I was about to say it was like they got like a first person view. I know they got like that bumper view, but. you up real quick see that's one thing about THQ is that I feel like that they create games like playing this I like this this is something where I'm like I think I owned it before but I didn't really play too much of it but I you know they create games more so like for fun they're not creating games like, oh, let's see how realistic we can make it look. Like, nah, they just out here, you know, creating games just to create them. Like, they, they know, like, a video game is about having fun. It ain't about how realistic the game gotta be. It ain't about, like, oh, let's have it where it's, like, the physics gotta be all real. Like, no, bro, y'all can make that stuff look arcade-like with horrible graphics. As long as the game plays well, bro... I don't see how the game can, um, like, end being a failure. But it's like, there's just companies out there where it's like, let's, let's see 2K try to come out with a racing game, see what they're all like, oh, let's have it where, out of nowhere, your character just gets a flat. Why would y'all want to add that into a game? Oh, your character, he, he gotta, he gotta file his taxes. Why is that in the game? It's like, oh, your character's kid got arrested. Now you gotta come up with the bail money. Why? Why is? Why are you guys getting so dark? Like, what? It'll be something like this. It's like, oh, your your character got a drug issue. He done passed out the will. You done lost the race. Like, they, it's just. I'm telling you, there's just companies out there that ask some old dumb stuff in games, and it's like nobody asked for that. Not one single person asked for that. You show me a comment where somebody asked for some old random stuff in the game.
could tell this game. It was an old game, but it's cool though. I like it. Step on that, my fault. Dang, what's going on with the screen? Why is the screen doing that? Hey, yo, that's weird, bruh. It's like how this screen gonna just start glitching out like that. Dang, homie, he crashed hard. That's weird. I don't know if that was Streamlabs or if that was the game, but that, that was that was that was weird. Then I knocked all my stuff off my car. That is messed up, man. It's like, dang, bro. What is that? What is that random stuff in the middle of the road? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win this race. Ah, I set the record. Really trying to pass homie up, but homie he 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 did some modifications uh, to his car. It's like nah, I'm tired of losing. And this person they are like racing as if rent is due. Like homie, it is okay if you lose. Yep. And that's how that goes. I can't go out like that. Look, the thing was about to start doing that old weird stuff again. Wait, what? You can't, like, go back? Yeah, that's weird. Alright, let's play something else. I think I'm going to just go ahead and stream. Find somebody to rate. Record some videos. by online all right so anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you everybody that stopped by tonight tonight today's stream stay tuned for the night stream i'll probably go um, play some more of uh, final fantasy tonight but uh, anyways thank you guys